What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video and today real quick I want to share with you guys my 2010 Mac Pro. I purchased this Mac Pro like around two or three months back for $100. Now mind you, I purchased this Mac Pro bare bone. So only thing this Mac Pro came with CPU and the CPU I have uh, in this, I believe that's a uh, Xeon X, uh, X5675, so it's a 6 core 12 thread CPU. And uh, also, uh, they didn't come with any RAMs, didn't come with a graphics card, didn't come with a hard drive. So basically, I upgraded this Mac Pro with most of my spare parts I had laying around, and you know, some of these parts I wasn't using, except the graphics card. Uh, the graphics card I have in this uh, Mac Pro, uh, Sapphire RX 570, it's a 4 gig variant. I picked up that graphics card from eBay used for around $80. So you got $80 graphics card and those RAMs, I don't even know how much I paid for those RAMs because it was just laying around. So <clears throat> these are ECC RAMs, uh, 1333 and uh, I had a one terabyte mechanical hard drive, not even an SSD. Now I'm going to share with you guys my experience, okay? So the person who had this uh, Mac Pro before, I don't know, I know if they did uh, update the framework or anything. All I basically had to do create a macOS Mojave bootable drive and that's it uh, I just installed macOS Mojave and I wanted to try and see how the system perform because mind you I have a mechanical hard drive <coughs> and I don't have a uh, SSD in this so I was doing one of the project and this project is pretty big so I was like you know what let me use this Mac Pro and let me do this project and I was really surprised this Mac Pro held up really really good okay it didn't slow down just because it's uh, you know running a, a mechanical hard drive the system was running flawlessly you know I was saving my project and I was just using iMovie I didn't even use Final Cut Pro because if you're in budget right now uh, 2020 and you want to get into this uh, Apple ecosystem currently if you buy any Mac from Apple you will spend the cheapest laptop Apple have right now, I believe, twelve to thirteen hundred dollar, and the cheapest um, Mac uh, Mini you can pick up from Apple right now, quad core for around like seven or eight hundred dollar. So it's kind of hard to get in Apple ecosystem right now. That's why we have a lot of uh, you know Hackintosh users because uh, anyone can basically uh, build a, a regular computer with aftermarket uh, off the shelf parts and build a Hackintosh. And that's why, you know, you guys might be thinking, why people building Hackintosh? Because Apple products are really expensive. You know, not everyone can afford a seven to eight hundred dollar computer. You can't. And also, you can't upgrade those seven to eight hundred dollar computer. So, this Mac Pro is one of like the best, best option right now. If you're someone who use Xcode, you know, you do like uh, iOS development, Mac Pro is a great uh, computer for you. Uh, also, uh, you can upgrade the hell out of this Mac Pro. So basically, you can go with uh, two six core Xeon, uh, but you do need a dual socket uh, tray. You can go up to 12 core, you can go all the way up to, I believe, like 64 gigs RAM or even more. I could be wrong. And uh, you can uh, <clears throat> also you can install like uh, uh, USB uh, 3.0 PCI cards. You can upgrade the Wi-Fi. So only one problem we are left with. So currently, Mac OS Catalina officially doesn't support 2010 Mac Pro, 2012 Mac Pro, or I believe uh, 2009 Mac Pro. There is no support for this. So you cannot just install the update. You know. So I'm currently running Mac OS Mojave, and I'm kind of stuck with Mac OS Mojave. Now I can install the hack version of Mac OS Catalina, but the only problem I was facing after installation, for some reason, my iMovie and my Final Cut uh, Pro was keep crashing while uh, rendering the video, exporting the video, it was just keep crashing. So basically what I did, I downgraded to Mac OS Mojave and the system is running stable. Now, I managed to finish my, uh, sponsor project with this mac pro and i was really surprised you know like i was using it i was saving my project i was opening it whenever i want now i'm not telling you guys to you know just ditch hackintosh and buy this mac pro no i'm not telling you. i have like 
two or three Hackintosh right now I use. This Mac Pro is for someone who's not looking to get into Hackintosh. You know, who's not looking to spend a lot of money, uh, who doesn't have experience with Hackintosh, you know, how to configure, you know. So, if you're in budget right now, at this very moment, you can pick up a uh, 2009 Mac Pro and you can update the framework and, you know, you can update the uh, framework to uh, Mac Pro 5.1, I believe 2009 Mac Pro 4.1, but you can update to a 5.1. And you can maybe install a SSD, a newer graphics card, and in most of these uh, 2009 and 2010 Mac Pro comes with a quad-core CPU. So you can upgrade the CPU. It's really simple, really easy to upgrade to uh, like a six-core. If you don't want to spend money at all, you can go with like a Xeon X5650. You can pick up for around eighteen dollars. Still a six-core with lower clock speed, and go up, go with like six, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. And this Mac Pro is really good guys. This this thing is really good and I'm really happy with this Mac Pro. Like I have this computer as like my backup Mac computer and I think you can go wrong, you know. My total uh, cost was basically make this Mac Pro run for my everyday use. Uh, it was $100 for this Mac Pro. Uh, the graphics card was $80. So that's $180. I had a, like a $10 uh, used one terabyte uh, hard drive laying around and these RAMs, let's put this another another $20. So 210 max I spent for this 2010 Mac Pro. Now I don't know if you can get the similar deal but I would highly recommend if you're from US uh, you can look into like Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Craigslist and sometimes you can pick up these Mac Pros for really cheap. Go for the quad core one and then you can upgrade by yourself. It's really simple and really easy. And this Mac Pro still still a legend. Still a legend guys. I really like this Mac Pro. Alright guys, so let me know what you guys think. Basically this video was like talking head video. Uh, hopefully I didn't uh, bore you guys. But I just wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts on this. 2010 Mac Pro and share with you guys you know what I think about this Mac Pro because I have a uh, Hackintosh here uh, these are 8 core 6 core uh, runs way faster than this Mac Pro but I just feel like if you're in budget and you're not looking to spend a lot of money and you don't have any experience like you know building a Hackintosh and configure and stuff you do need you do need patience and experience and you have to do a lot of research then you're better off with a uh, 2009 or uh, 2010 or even a uh, 2012 Mac Pro. All right, guys. See you guys next one. Peace.